here at YouTube, I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter every single day at 2 p.m. On weekdays, we do a live stream. On the weekends, we premiere. But on the weekends, I also get to check out anything I want. And right now, I am very curious to know why the second most popular item on Kickstarter right now is a knife. So what is this knife doing so spectacular in this Kickstarter that it has made $124,000 and it is the second most popular project on all of the earth? Well, we're going to find out. But before we do, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I attempt to hit 9,000 subscribers for to mark my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Nautically inspired tools built to last. Okay, tools. So maybe it's not just the knife. Instantly, I'm intrigued. That's great. I love what you did there. I want to know more just based off that one sentence. Mwah! Beautiful. All right. Uh, oh, and so now I start to maybe focus a little bit more on the dice. Okay. What do we got? I don't know what to expect. Oceanus Brass has developed a timeless cutting instrument. Envisioned while at sea and inspired by tales of maritime beasts from below, the Kraken Blade is made for adventures. Tied to the art and science of sailing and exploration, the Oceanus Brass Kraken Blade captures the fearless spirit of the ocean for your modern lifestyle. Machined from a brick of solid brass, the Kraken Whoa. Blade will withstand hard use. Oceanus Brass Engineering. Wait, wait, wait. Did she just stand in the wood? The blade will withstand Ooh. hard use. Oceanus Brass Engineering enables first in class seamless blade deployments. Keep it magnetically locked or snap it over oh. for unrestricted access. Stop it! Built around a replaceable <laughs> carbon and steel blade, yep. you'll be ready for tasks big and small. When dull, simply sharpen <gasps> your... <gasps> oh, my dream! Oh, my gosh. I kid you not. A buddy of mine, recently, I was on a podcast Wednesday night. My buddy Scott Ohm, the owner of Board Game Geek, said he's always wanted to whittle. And I thought to myself, you know what? I've always wanted to whittle, too. And this is appealing to the whittlers. I'm sending this to Scott. But, yes! Wow! I had no idea what I was getting into. But I see it. This looks spectacular. The first 48 seconds, I am sold. Because when I look at these Kickstarters, I'm always thinking the three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? And do I want it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or replace the blade with a new one. The iconic bow shackle is the statement piece of the Kraken Blade. Not only beautiful and eye-catching, but it makes fastening the Kraken Blade to your uh -huh. favorite sailing jacket or travel bag simple. Whether you're a sailor, an outdoorsman, or someone who appreciates quality, we believe you'll love the Kraken Blade as much as we do. The overwhelming success of our previous Whoa, 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 wow, wow. Okay, I always say, do I want it? Yes, can you do it? Uh, yes, please, I see success after success after success. I see uh, thousands of people getting their items immediately feel comfortable. So, don't beat around the bush. Tell me you're going to do the perfect video. The perfect video is, do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? They, they encapsulate all of it into the video. So hopefully you tell me the cost. ...inspired us to try once more to push our boundaries. But we need your help to make this dream a reality. Please, pledge for your Kraken Blade today. Dang. That was a good minute and 30 seconds. Top-notch video. As I said... I just need you to have one in your video. You got two, uh, so hopefully you get you know beat around the bush. You tell me how much it is. I will check over here, but I have no doubt in my mind. And yes, this is what I love to see. I love to see numerous people in this collaborator section. That means the comments are going to be active and engaged, and, and I'm excited. I'm excited. Fifteen created, sixty-one back, and this is what I always tell people: back a bunch of projects, even if you just back them for a dollar, and immediately you look like more a member of the community uh, because just sixty-one backs that cost you. If you really want to cheat the system, you could do that for free by backing 61 things right now that you know are going to fail, but it's still, you would pay zero dollars, but you would now be a prominent member of the community who's backed 61 things. It's a life hack, I know. <laughs> if you use that like cap, you better give me, you better click on that subscribe button, because that's a good one. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, I want more. And I bet you these are add-ons. Oh my goodness, this is a business model right here. This is a spectacular business model. Good for you! Oh my gosh! You rock. You rock. This was someone's dream, and now this is someone's job. This is someone's retirement uh, one day. Excellent. Excellent. Victoria, I'm assuming. Mwah! Beautiful job so far. Uh, so, yes. 
Do I want it? Can you do it? Absolutely. How much is it? Hit me early. Hit me now. Just give me the blade. Designed for serious adventures, the Ocean Brass is... No, don't be redundant. Yes, this is the... This is such... I swear, the redundancy. I don't... I don't get it. Most people watch the videos. Which means that once most people get done watching the videos, they just want to know the cost. So don't... Don't tell me about the story again. Like, at least give me the price, and then give me the story for the people who don't watch the videos. Because I know some people don't. I'm not saying everyone does. Because, yes, this is beautiful. Yes, and I feel... Whatever price it is, I feel like it's probably going to be a reasonable price. If this is anything less than a hundred dollars, I'm gonna say I can definitely see that because you know it's it's carved out of a piece of brass, and I don't even know how much brass freaking costs, but I'm impressed. Specifications, there's the weight. It's good, great. Give me the time. Give me the cost. Bow shackle. Oh, so this is a uh, oh, this is another item that you're trying to sell me. Oh no, 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 no. This is the, the oh, that's the part. That's the bow shackle. That's gonna. Oh wow. Yeah, that's, so that's why they really focused on that bow shackle a little bit in the video. I didn't really quite understand why there was such an emphasis on it. I see, because it's very high quality. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Excellent. Excellent, this is all great. Just give me a price first. Give me a price first. Press, cool, awesome. Uh, maybe, you know what you might even do? Maybe make these into a little bit fancier. You know, pop them out. This is one thing they do in board games. They'll have, like, the picture, uh, maybe the, the cool material logo, and then the quote. Uh, but let's check some of these quotes, see if they're good quotes. If your EDC needs some serious knife variety, this nautically-themed Bosun's Edge knife should fit in perfectly. Both utilitarian and artful, the Bosun's Edge is made from solid brass and uses a replaceable utility blade for perpetual sharpness on the cheap. Eh. It feels a little too... It feels canned. It feels like a canned one. <laughs> it's a beautiful pen, and we'll enjoy having it on our boat, and it'll make a wonderful heirloom to pass down to our grandson one day. Maybe we'll even have a special boat to keep it on. Okay. I like that. You know, if that's not me, I, I hope one day I can pass a boat to my son. But I, that's not me, but I still think it's a good quote for who you're trying to go through for. What you showed me in the video is people who might have a boat. And people who have a boat, they're, they're not going to care about the price of this that much. Like, if you can afford a boat, and you are looking for accessories for your boat, the price is probably not going to be the biggest sticky widget on this. So get me the price already. Don't make... Uh, they're going to make me go over here, aren't they? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'll go one more quote. Digi Dreams. Even though I'm ink rich right now, I keep navigating back to the same one. My shackle pen on oceans... Oh, this is about the pen. I don't want quotes on the pen. Why do I, why do I care about quotes on the pen? <laughs> All right. Spread the word. So this is what we're getting. Cool. Great. Excellent. Give me a price. Stretch goals. Oh, the stretch goals? Why am I just now learning about stretch goals? So here's the thing. Look at it from this perspective. If you are one of those people who's totally sold by the video, you just go over here, you, you see the price, and they're going to make me look at the price. So I look at the price, and I say, dollar, whatever. That's great. Always like it. Ten dollars. Uh, nautical hardware for your support. Thanks for joining us on Adventure. We'll send along updates on our products. Collect a piece of nautical hardware for your support. What does that mean? Collect a brass bow shackle. So that gives you a shackle? Is that the... Is that the... What? That's the thing that they showed us, right? A brass bow shackle. I just want a bow shackle. Uh, how about... How about no? How about we just have a dollar pledge that gives you the, the pledge manager or something? But hopefully you're not going to have like 10 pledges over here. Uh, early bird? Okay. Yeah, look at this. $35! I said 100 I got a freaking hundred. That price is spectacular. And forty-five. Yes, don't hide this. I would totally put that on your main image. Now, what the heck do I know? Because you are the number two thing on all of. <laughs> You're on Kickstarter right now. Uh, but but the price, forty-five dollars. You know, because here's the thing. Oh wait. Oh that's. Oh so this is this is another Kickstarter special. This is the Kraken Guild special. So this is another early break. Never mind. Fifty-five dollars. This is the real one. Still, fifty-five dollars. I said a hundred. This is great. Put it up there. The double. You get two of them. Uh, okay. Cool. Three hundred. Get a bunch of stuff. Awesome. This could be way cleaner though. Uh, the, the, in particular, the shackle one. <laughs> but uh, no, I know you can't get rid of it because three people have already taken it. But it's just, it just clutters things up. Put it as an add-on. Put it in the back end. You know. Inspired by Boston. Uh, so you made me look at the price, which I don't like because that's a great price. I would put that on the front. Because here's the thing. Look at it like this. I see the knife. I'm interested in the knife. I see the knife is $55. I say, well, that's that's a good price for a knife. Convince me to pay that price. And I watch your video. Or I give you the story. Or I read your story. Most people are going to watch the video. And, and the video I felt was like was great. I, I think your video was spectacular. 
you just I would get to the price a little bit earlier. Nobody likes to have to look for it. And then stretch goals. Get these higher. Like pe- this is what's going to keep people excited and engaged. Uh, so let's see what they are. Unlocked. Uh, we will add custom pivot washers. Awesome. So it's going to make your knife better. Double the clasping magnets. These are spectaculars. To the and, and people understand this. This is this is really redundant and kind of annoying to to read. So I would totally get rid of all this. Uh, and here's the other thing. So this is this is a very popular tactic in the board game universe, and I think you should take it right here because what you're doing is every you have what I like to call micro stretch goals, which are stretch goals uh, that since you're so popular right now, you're definitely going to hit. And micro stretch goals are great because they keep people coming back to see what's getting new added to their board game, or in this case, their knife. And so I would get a picture of each and every one of these unlock stretch goals. Just get rid of all the words. You know, put the words on the pictures. Let's say this is all that's been unlocked right now. This is what the knife started with. And this, because you have your support and you sharing this has made the knife even better. Like the one we showed you was freaking spectacular. But because of you, it's even better, partner. But I have to scroll all the way back down here. How many people saw the knife, watched the video, were totally in on the knife, backed the knife and thought, well, there's probably not going to be stretch goals for the knife because you didn't put the stretch goals higher. Stretch goals, way higher way higher because right now get people excited about how this knife is changing double the clasping magnets oh my gosh i don't know what that means but when i hear double magnetism i'm excited because i've had many experiences in my life where i've had not enough magnetism oh i want to hang this on the fridge no not gonna do it i hate you why did my my screen just went off holy moly are we still good we're good uh janky computer (laughs) but 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 this is good stuff uh, we will also ship an additional carbon steel utility blade. That's amazing. You just added a year to my knife. And and I, I and I don't know about this, except for down here. Higher, higher. So, uh, gets an extra solid b- brass bow shankle. You took an t- entire, entire, like, ten seconds of your video to get me excited about a bow shankle, and now I'm getting two bow shankles, and I gotta go all the way down here to find out? No way! Okay, so here it is. Yeah, this picture. Higher, 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 higher. So higher. This is clean. This is clear. This is crisp. Aside from that, (laughs) you know, you can't get rid of it now. But this is great. This is what I want. The video sold me. Put that up top and then shipping. Good. There's no picture. We intend to include a number 9092 carbon steel utility blade with each Kraken blade purchase. For international backers, an option may be available during the fulfillment process to possibly have the blades removed for the shipment, blah, blah, blah. Uh, And yeah, that makes sense. That's actually a great thing to happen. Hopefully that's in the FAQ as well. Because who wants to go all the way down to the shipping to ask this question? Um, But I still don't see the cost of shipping. Now what I've learned is a lot of the time, and I don't know why the board game hobby doesn't do this more. uh, Yes, it does the shipping in here. Why don't more board game companies have this? I wonder if this is just something you can't do in board games. Because this is great. So what am I looking at? I get this knife for 40 bucks right now. I don't even think about it. You know, if I own a boat, I don't even think about that. Think about that. If you own a boat, because boats are super expensive. Do you even think about this $40 purchase? Hell no. Hell no. $40 in and out. So why am I going to come back if you're hiding this? Because I don't even know the knife's getting, you know. So, wow. Great price. Can you do it? Yes. Do I want it? Yes. How much is it? Yes. You've answered all three of my questions. I had to go searching, but still excellent so far. Excellent. What materials were used? What was the fulfillment process? These are great. Great. Great questions. Excellent FAQs. Updates. Let's see what we got. Ahoy, backers! Once again, because that's the crowd we're going for. I'm not in the board game mindset. I'm in the, I've got, I own a sailboat mindset. Thank you so much for believing in us. We're absolutely thrilled with the progress of our campaign in the last 48 hours. Your comments, private messages, pledge, and share mean the world to my team. We are catching up on all the unlocked stretch goal updates and could think of a better problem for us to be trying to solve. Trying to keep up with you guys. Quoting Vicky Champagne Problems. Yes, uh, and yes, I absolutely believe that. And, and while I do sound like I'm very critical here, I... No, you know what? Forget this. This is like the 12th campaign. You know what you're doing. You got your swerve going. You got your groove going. I'm thinking like a mom and pop, and this isn't a mom and pop. You've run 12 Kickstarters. You know what you're doing, and they know a lot about what they're doing, but I still think prices just need to go higher. Whoa, early manufacturing stretch goal. Shut up. Beautiful. Thank you once again. Tell me you asked a question. Did you ask a question? No, you didn't, which is why we don't have many responses to it. 
And and think about it like that. You have 2,336 backers and your update has six responses. How many of them are you? Let's see. Uh, but it be one, two. So four people out of 2,000 people. That tells me you need to be asking a question at the end of every single one of these. Let me know in the comments below. We've got a lot of amazing ideas, but do you have any amazing ideas? Are there any unique quirks or things that you love about a knife? You know, maybe you have to tell them, you know, that just logistically that is not something that we could probably make work here, and this is why. But still, you now have people commenting on it. You have new people excited about different aspects. But that's going to continue to keep you up number two, because I don't see this lasting, uh, being the number two product on Kickstarter, just because... Uh, while I do love the the updates or the uh, the stretch goals, you know the fact that they're so far down hidden. You know what's my reason to come back? I've spent my forty dollars. Why do I come back to this? But I am glad that you're really focusing on mentioning the stretch goals at least here. But still, for newer backers, I would mention it. And yes, great, great stretch goals first and foremost. So you are spotlighting them, which means you you realize how important and amazing and spectacular they are. So just put them higher. Comments, 347. Let's see how active the gauge. Does the blade come with the shackle? One minute ago. I think we can give him a pass on not responding yet. Uh, thank you. Changed my pledge from one to two blades. My second campaign. Great, great. Uh, at OB team with regards to leather goods. Now, this one's hard to really judge because obviously there's two, they're coming in fast and frantic right now with these comments because you do have 2,000 people. And it's easy to sit in your high horse and criticize someone else without creating your own thing. This is original, a progression from an idea, a new take. You don't like that? Then I say to stand behind your beliefs. So here we go. This is what I always talk about. When you have a product like this, and you right now you have, let's see, you have 2,300 people who are either knife enthusiasts or boat enthusiasts. So right now... The only place to talk about knifing or boating should be your comments section. You should be getting people talking about boating and the different uses. What are you going to do with your knife? What's the... What? What? So here's the question. Here's a good one. You do this in this next one. You ask the people. You use this. You throw me a knife. I'll review the knife, but use this question. If you do, throw me a knife. Uh, don't throw it at me, though. But, but you say, what are you most excited to use your whatever the name of the knife is first with? Because here's the thing. With this knife, everybody, if you see this knife and you're like, man, I really need a knife, you've probably got an idea in the back of your brain of what you're using. So if I got this knife, I would use it in my unboxing things. Since I unboxing it so many times, I have to like use a pencil or just like cheat. And it's, just, it's terrible. I would love to have a nice knife to do it with. So when I saw this, I was thinking, you know what? That'd be a great knife to do unboxing with. Somebody else is like, you know what? I always have to, you know, always get this frayed bit of rope at the end of my sailboat every freaking time. And I hate it. And this would be a great knife to do that with. Everybody's got an idea of what they would do with this knife. And you get people commenting about what they would do with this knife. And maybe talking about what their favorite knives are. Maybe that's the next comment. So what's your old favorite knife? Smiley face. You know, that sort of thing. Tell us about it. Is it more for nostalgia or is it for purposes? You Start talking about boating and knifing to the high heavens. Get people discussing their nostalgic childhood memories of using specific knives or why they love the nautical theme. Or I don't actually own a boat and I don't want to use the knife, but I love nautical theme things. You know, yeah, there's so many different potential people backing this project who would love to discuss with other people. Because let's be honest, as a knife enthusiast, I don't feel like that's a topic you really get to talk to much people about. Because you got to realize, I bet if you type in Knife Enthusiast on YouTube, there's a huge subsection of YouTube that loves talking about knives. You know, and, and get those people chit-chatting up in here. That's what I'd be trying to do. And that, that one right there spotlights it. That's somebody defending this knife because apparently it's, maybe it's copying some other knife. There are knife discussions going on and that's what you want. Uh, so I hope you're harnessing that. Wow, collaborator, collaborator, collaborator. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is it. Okay, so you're much better on this than I see. So, um, this is actually a pro trick. Oh my gosh. Uh, Mitch, here's what you do. I'm pretty sure you're probably using the face, you're using the app. You're using the Kickstarter app. I believe this is what causes this issue. And it looks bad. Uh, I've seen some projects where I was looking through the comments and it looked like people weren't getting their questions responded to from a third party perspective. Uh, because of how the Facebook app does this. Because I bet you, yeah, you're responding to these people, and instead of actually putting it, you know, so like these people, like, oh, where's the responses, you know? Uh, maybe the responses are right here. So I would totally consider not using the Facebook app and just opening up uh, a browser and doing it. Because from a third-party perspective, if I see a whole bunch of comments with no responses, it doesn't look good. Even though the person that you respond to knows you respond 
just from the outside perspective, it's one thing you might not think about. So that is one thing I'd recommend is uh, the Kickstarter app kind of sucks for this sort of thing. So I would not recommend using it. Uh, but there you go. Kraken Blade by Oceanus Brass. I always give this either a zero, a one, or a two. Zero. Keep on scrolling. One, back it for a dollar, come back in the last 48 hours. Or two, back it for the whale. Uh, there is no real whale here. It's just the knife itself, so I'd go with a one. But, but no, I'd actually I'd back it now. Yeah, it's a go with it. It's weird when you don't give me a whale. Uh, oh, no, the whale is all the different things, right? The fleet pack. Welcome to this. Updates. You know, I don't know. Uh, I'd go with a one, I guess, just because I'm not... I, I, I was hoping there'd be a whale where maybe you'd offer all your items. Because I'm sure you'll let me do that in the add-ons, but why not have just a whale that is that? And if there is one, then uh, make it a little bit more obvious, because I totally should have seen it by now. But there you go. That is the Kraken Blade by Oceanus Brass. Overall, very impressive Kickstarter. $124,000. It looks like it might be your knife of choice. Check out the Kickstarter link down below. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. As always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I try to reach 9,000 subscribers to celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube comment. And as always, that's the wrong one. Thank you for your time, YouTube. Oh my goodness.